Flav City family, what is up? It is Bobby coming at you in the pet food aisle of the grocery store because I can't tell you how many DMs, emails, and requests I've gotten to review pet food. And that actually makes sense because so many people have pets. And if you notice what's been going on with the health of pets, it's been mimicking human behavior. They're starting to get diabetes and heart disease and joint problems. That's because when you look at the ancestral diet of cats and uh, dogs, it's changed greatly. No longer are they eating a diet high in uh, protein, moderate fat, and low carbs. It's flipped. It's kind of like our horrible diet, unfortunately. That's high carbs, high processed refined starches, bad fats, and low protein. So there are some really good pet foods here at the grocery store. I want to run through them really quick. Uh, before we do that uh, deed, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, share. We got six videos going live every week. Videos like this, live stream cooking demos in the kitchen. You do not want to miss out. And I have a bell icon below the video. Enable all notifications. That way you get a push whenever one of our videos goes live. Okay, let's walk over here and start with dog food. Once you learn to read the ingredients, it's gonna be very, very easy to pick out the good ones from the bad ones you wanna avoid. So I did a little look through before I got here. This is a great wet dog food by Organic. So I really like the fact that it's organic because think about it, non-organic food like turkey or chicken is made with animals that only eat GMO grains. I don't think you or your dog or your cat want that in your body. So this is Organic's uh, Butcher and Bushel. Look at these ingredients here. It's actually quite impressive. So it's organic turkey, which is great. Organic chicken broth. And then look what's going on here. How are they getting their carbohydrates? Are they from grains and corn and soy? No, it's from pea protein. Uh, you're getting great minerals and fats from chicken liver. Uh, look at that egg, organic coconut flour. That's really impressive. Then a lot of fiber comes from blueberries, Black seeds are loaded in fiber. This, you guys, looks absolutely fantastic. So the problem is, if you start eating a diet, or if your dog, if, if you want to eat it too, that's fine, start eating a diet high in refined carbohydrates and bad oils, that's gonna to lead to inflammation. And just like humans, inflammatory diets in animals can cause many, many health issues, including uh, bad joints, diabetes, ha, heart issues. So that's fantastic. But if I go over here, whole paws take a look this is whole paws beef and lentil feast that guy looks really really cute there but compare the ingredients so it's not organic or non-gmo beef which i mean it might be okay in a pinch but it's the other ingredients i'm concerned about look the other one from uh what is that the uh, organics didn't have any oil these have sunflower oil which is highly processed and highly refined and we keep reading here what else that's really my, oh no, hello, carrageenan. Between the sunflower oil, the carrageenan, and the non-organic non, uh, beef, don't give this to your dog. Because you know carrageenan is given to uh, patients to induce inflammation in doctor and lab studies for humans. Carrageenan is very disruptive to your tummy and it's inflammatory. Don't give it to your dog or your cat. That's really bad news. Sunflower oil is highly processed and highly refined and highly inflammatory. And non-GMO beef, maybe not a deal killer, but combined with the other ingredients, no way. I was actually gonna go to like a place like a PetSmart for this, but I thought it might be a little overwhelming and I'm allergic to a lot of cats and dogs and I think I might be sneezing the whole video. So I, I thought I'd do it while I'm shopping here at Whole Foods. Um, Organics also makes a really beautiful uh, organic dry food. Look at this. The dry ingredients here for the dog food, amazing. Organic grain-free chicken sweep. Oh, huh, where's the ingredients? Here we go. Organic chicken. Chicken meal is fine as a supplementary ingredient. You don't want to see only chicken meal, but that can be bones, which has really good uh, marrow and stuff like that. Oh my gosh, they're using coconut oil. Coconut oil in the dry food compared to sunflower for that garbage over there. Wow, Organics is crushing the game here. Organic chicken liver, salmon oil instead of sunflower oil, that's really impressive. Then this is the vitamin markup here to supplement the feed, that's great. Um, this Liberty Fresh here, it's not organic or non-GMO, but I did check out the ingredients. Not bad, look at that. Turkey, eggs, millet. Only problem here is that it's not uh, non-GMO or organic. And even though it has natural vegetable flavor, I looked, you guys, in the market, pretty much all pet food has natural flavors, which is a bummer, because there's nothing natural about it. 
but you can't avoid it. And then this is really cool. Look at this. Pristine makes grass-fed lamb and lentil, wild-caught sweet potato uh, recipe. This is amazing. Look at this. Wild-caught salmon, uh, grass-fed lamb, great protein and uh, fiber from the peas, coconut oil. Oh my God, organic blueberries, which are the dirty dozen. So they're organic, which is, is a major plus. This is so cool, you guys. This is, this is like something that is actually very, very envious that some dogs get to eat this. And we're not seeing any processed, refined starches. Dogs should not be eating simple carbohydrates like soy, like uh, corn, like wheat. Those are inflammatory. A lot of soy protein is used in dog food. Avoid soy protein. It jacks up the protein count, but it's inflammatory, it's GMO, and it's garbage. So this is really, really, really good stuff. Uh, let's take a break from the dogs. I know a lot of people have cats out there. Let's check out the cat food over there. All right, let's take a look at some of the wet and dry uh, cat food options. Once again, just like the dog food, these guys pristine. It really is pristine. A buck sixty-nine a pack in here. This is the free-range turkey, but it's not just free-range turkey. It's organic, non-GMO turkey. Look at this, you guys. You get dried egg whites. I love the chicken livers in there. There's so much darn nutrition in chicken livers. Uh, it's got the natural flavor, but they all do. It's got no cruddy oil. In fact, it has uh, salmon oil, which is great for uh, kitties. Wow, this is this is top notch. And you know what's interesting? Look at this. The pristine is a buck sixty-nine for ten cents cheaper. You'd get this, which is very similar, but look, it's not organic chicken or organic protein. So not terrible ingredients, but get that all day. I'm pretty sure you can buy that in bulk, and it's going to be cheaper. Now what if we go for something in the tin here, kind of like a meow mix, right? I want chicken, I want liver, meow mix, meow mix, please deliver. So this is, sounded like a Dr. Evil there. Uh, wellness, wellness pate. Let's take a look. So it's not organic chicken, which is not necessarily a deal killer. Uh, cranberries, do you have to let it linger? Do you have to, do you have, this is pretty decent you guys. Besides the fact that it's not organic, this is really, really clean. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Wait a second. This looks like the same company who makes the tuna, the pole in line cut. It's the same company <laughs> and the can is almost the same. They make really, really good tuna. They make tuna cat food and tuna and salmon cat food. Oh my God. That is crazy. I wonder how it tastes. Let's see the ingredients here. All right. So it's made with tuna, salmon, uh, sunflower oil. And then everything else is good. But also the salmon isn't wild caught necessarily. It doesn't say that here, does it? Let me see. No, it doesn't say wild caught, but the sunflower oil is a deal killer. Now, like I said, we're shopping at Whole Foods, so it's slightly better than like a PetSmart. But my friends, anytime you see a pet food or a uh, cat food or dog food with a processed plant oil, like sunflower, safflower oil, put it back. If you see grains in there, like oats, uh, corn, soy, uh, wheat, or gluten, put it back. Those are not good for any of the animals. Notice how none of these have that. They have like fiber rich stuff like spinach and uh, flaxseed and stuff like that. Here we go. Organics, once again, they make it in the uh, tin here. Organics is probably one of the best ones I'm seeing, you guys. Super, super clean. Yep, fantastic. But what about uh, dry? So obviously these are going to be great from organics. This is a wellness core, protein rich. Let's see the ingredients. So it is not organic or non-GMO, but look at that. Chicken's good. Turkey meal I'm cool with. See, you're getting fiber from peas. You're getting fiber from the vegetables in there. It's got cranberries and added vegetables. That's really good stuff. We got paws, whole paws. Grain free, very nice chicken recipe. It's not organic once again, but if it's not organic, it's not a deal killer. And the other ingredients, garbanzos with fiber in there, flax seeds, more fiber. You're not seeing any of the corn or soy or garbage in there. Um, I looked really quick. A lot of the stuff online, like it's PetSmart, is going to be fortified with soybean to up the protein and other simple starches, carbohydrates, grains that you don't want to put in your uh, pet's body. So that's good. Even something like this, the Whole Paws uh, wet food, it's not going to be organic, but look at the ingredients. You don't see any nasty uh, carrageenan or sunflower oil in there. Now, I was surprised over in the refrigerated case here, this is dog food. 
seems like it's all made by this Nature's Fresh here, but it's not organic, and it seems like all of them have carrageenan. Inflammatory, really bad for the gut of humans and animals. And this one is, looks like it's a mix, salmon and whitefish. The problem is this one has the carrageenan, and it has sunflower oil. Really, really, really bad. So very, very interesting stuff. You just read the other ingredients and you quickly see the really good ones from the really bad ones. It's very, very similar to uh, searching for human food in the grocery store. How about snacks and chewies? I'm telling you, these guys from Pristine are crushing the game. Grass-fed beef jerkies? This is almost like human quality. Look at this. Ingredients, just grass-fed beef, cultured skim milk, mixed to cofferols, which is an antioxidant vitamin E preservative. Totally cool. And it's 100% grass-fed, non-GMO, grain-free. That's great. Because a lot of these will usually use mystery meat and bad quality items. Like I just saw this. This is grilled bison flavor, but it's made with tapioca starch, a simple carbohydrate, not great for the animal's stomach, and sunflower oil, highly processed. So not something you'd want. This is still way better. Organics makes these, look at this, organic peanut butter flavor cookies. Now, this is gonna be a case where there might be some more grains in here. Yeah, look, there is brown rice, there is oats, and there are organic oats and organic barley. If you're gonna eat uh, grains, these are the kind you want. Whole gluten-free grains, not simple carbohydrates, or even using organic oats that are uh, low in glyphosate or no glyphosate on organic oats. Very, very impressive, wow. Some really cool options here, but I'm telling you, you can spot the good ones from the bad ones just by reading the ingredients. All right, that's it. That's a quick rundown of pet food here at the store. Maybe next time I should go to a PetSmart or a Petco and uh, do a deeper dive, but I'm telling you, I'm at Whole Foods. These are gonna be premium items. The cheaper quality ones are just like buying cheaper quality food for the humans. They're gonna be with all filler, no thriller, cheap starches and carbohydrates, stuff you don't want. You wanna have a high protein, moderate fat, low carb diet, and if there are gonna be any grains, they gotta be whole grains and fiber rich grains. So that's it, you guys. I hope you found it helpful. Um, I grew up with a Bichon Frise. His name was Josh. He lived until he was 19 years old. He was my best friend. I loved him and we fed him really good food and that's probably why he left. lived until 19 years old and we had to put him asleep because his health was just going downhill. But uh, let me know what else you wanna see. Please leave comments down below. Like, subscribe, share. The only way our channel keeps growing, the only way we keep helping man and man's best friend is by you spreading the Flav City love. I got two more videos below me right now. But I will see you soon from the grocery store and from the kitchen. I leave you like I always do. Hashtag keep on cooking, mad love, and peace. Later.